everyone knows what social media is. Social media is a place where people can see how others live their lives, looking at your favorite celebrity, or even just finding entertainment on things like TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, all these different sources of social media. But when live streaming comes into it, it's like a whole nother game where you can see people live and interact with them live in a chat, which very different. For example, popular live streaming things can be like twi uh, live streaming on YouTube, Twitch. What What's another thing? Facebook Live, Instagram Live, every other, basically, no, and TikTok has it. So basically every social media has a live option where you can just watch people live their lives in real time. What happens when live streaming becomes dangerous almost? and catches horrible moments like people ending or hurting others on live streams doing life-threatening things just for a little bit of views and a little bit of attention which there's plenty of examples of that in this video are just terrifying things caught on camera like you see in the thumbnail girl being stalked just all overall terrifying things caught on so i want to welcome you guys to this video where today we're going to be going into the disturbing world of live streaming and seeing where live streaming can get really dangerous and really dark really fast. Before we get into this, I want to say these topics can get actually pretty dark and you're going to see some clips of real life events that are real life crime cases and disturbing moments. So that's all I got to say. I say let's get right in this video and I hope you enjoy it. So sadly, there is a lot of people who decide they are going to live stream themselves hurting others or hurting themselves. All over social media, I have seen and heard about lives, police shootouts, murders, accidental deaths, just accidents, horrible things happening on live streams that were caught at the last second. So you might ask, why doesn't the social media app, whoever is running this, for example, Instagram, why don't they take down these lives when they happen? The problem is by the time the crime or the accident has happened, somebody getting injured or killed, by the time this actually happens, they can't take it down quick enough. It's already out. Someone already screen recorded the live stream and then they're basically already in trouble. For example, the first thing we're gonna be talking about, very sad, is the Buffalo shooting. And before we talk about this topic, I wanna to say rest in peace to everybody who lost their life in that grocery store. 100 miles to that black community wearing body armor and live streaming the attack. This guy right here, he decided that he was gonna live stream and <clears throat> starting it was just a normal live stream. And he was in a car driving, but in, but what was weird, he was in like this full military gear. I remember when this first happened, this was like crazy to me, but he was in full military gear. And when he got out, he put a GoPro on and he just started ending the lives of people in a grocery store with a gun. This was, took over the news, was talked about all over a few years ago when it happened. This was a very sad thing that happened, but 10 people would be killed during this live stream. And I also wanna say this was a hate crime towards other races. And it was kind of, it, it was this big thing where when he pointed a gun at a white man, he said sorry and just kept killing other people. It was, it was a big, he was a really racist person. It was a big hate crime. But I want to say rest in peace to all the people who lost their lives in the shooting. A very sad thing. And Twitch did take this down in around two minutes of it being up. By the time Twitch has took this down, already too late. All the damage was done. So very very sad one to start off with but very true situation of showing how live streaming can be very deadly let me let me reframe that live streaming is not deadly but deadly people can get on live streaming and show some graphic things to the world you know what i mean that others that no one should have to go through or see this section of the video a little more less graphic of the one before less sad but this is straight just people doing life-threatening acts for attention. Very stupid. People are so obsessed with getting that extra view that they'll do the most crazy things for that extra view. For example, let me just show you guys this clip and I'm not going to explain it yet. So I'm just going to let you guys ex I'm just going to let you guys experience what I experienced watching this clip. Alcohol, let's go. I'm playing on one. What the fuck? 
Alright, bro, I gotta end this shit. Alcohol. Yeah, so that's a man drinking rubbing alcohol. Just straight rubbing alcohol, which can kill you. Just straight up drinking it that quick and that fast. And the end of the stream because the dude started throwing up. Is this real? I don't know. But if this is real, this really shows that people do anything for attention. This dude only hit like 3,000 people in his live stream. And this dude decided, hey, let's drink some rubbing alcohol just for the extra views. And then end up ending the live stream right after. Uh, he survived this. I'm, I'm hoping this was not real. Because it's very freaking serious. That, that could have ended a lot worse than he thought. But maybe he's just a troll faking stuff. Maybe this is real. But is there other clips online of people actually doing things like this? Yes, I've seen the same guy. I can't find the clip. Same person putting a firecracker in their mouth and lighting it. I'm pretty sure it was him because it looked real familiar. But yeah, seen a person put a firework in their mouth and light it just for an Instagram live. So can these things get pretty serious? Yeah. The next one, it's not, I don't really know how to put this, but this one's not as much like, she didn't mean for the outcome of this, I don't think, but very, not a very smart decision. This ended up taking the life of a 24 year old Chinese woman. Basically what happened, she was doing a mukbang. Basically a mukbang is a popular thing on YouTube all over social media. I don't watch him personally. That Nick Avocado dude, I think that's his name. That dude does, <laughs> you guys ever seen this dude? Um, he does all that stuff, gets really unhealthy, but it's basically sitting there and eating a lot of food in one sitting. Not always, some people are very healthy with it and take care of it, take care of themselves with it. But personally, not the stuff I like to watch on YouTube, but if, if it floats your boat, it floats your boat. This 24-year-old from China, she decided that it was a good idea to do a 10-hour mukbang video, mukbang video where she just ate food for 10 hours. And she ended up eating 22 pounds of food. If you don't know how that much is, how much that is, it's not a healthy amount. Um, it was a mix of che um, cheese, I'm crazy. It was a mix of seafood, cheesecake, no, I think it was just normal cake and a few other foods. But this ended up taking her life. She had a stomach rupture, which basically she had so much food, her stomach couldn't take it anymore. She had so much food, and this basically resulted to her stomach tearing open, which this is incredibly sad. There's no way am I making fun of her because that is actually terrible, and she was really young when she passed away. But this is just another example of people kind of looking for that attention online and how that attention can result in a death which I, i'm just thinking about that man 10 hours of eating just straight food i don't even know how she i don't know how she pulled that off i really don't this one doesn't result in any sad outcomes which this was a very sad situation but the lady ended up getting better from this situation so the woman you see in my thumbnail right here is she is a live streamer and she decided to go to Japan. I haven't watched the full stream, but it seems she was just walking in the street. When she sat down just to talk to her chat, which is pretty popular from a Twitch streamer, they like, they'll talk to chat, their um, chats, and they'll read people's messages out loud, talk to them, give them answers to their questions, just stuff like that. That's when this man decided he was gonna come up and sit next to her. And at first, uh, he was just talking to her and stuff. But he started getting a little too close for her comfort. <clears throat> she told the man to get away from her multiple times, which this dude did not listen at all. This dude's just absolute weirdo and creepy, which really shows how women live streamers are really big victims of the stalking thing. I seen there is a million live streams of this exact situation when this woman gets up to leave this dude just starts following her around basically and she even had to go in a store to let the worker know someone's following her she ended up crying on the stream and then later having a stream to talk about the situation and what happened so luckily nothing actually terrible happened like he didn't try to hurt her or nothing but still she should not went through what she went through but that is another side of live streaming a lot of people don't talk about. I don't see a lot. It's It seems to be a huge problem, the stalking situation and the creeps on Twitch. But it seems to be 
a huge problem that a lot not a lot of people talk about you guys made it to the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm gonna try to get a video out every friday and this video was pretty pretty dark but i will have more content coming out soon maybe less about terrible things in the world maybe some ghost stuff you know some more paranormal stuff fun stuff or i'll keep making videos like this also because some people do enjoy videos like this so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and you guys really saw the dark side of live streaming so if you guys did enjoy just be ready for the next video